Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for coming today. Uh, Lawrence mentioned that I was the more serious one, and sadly that is the case. Um, and I do want to emphasise the seriousness of this occasion um, without wanting to uh, be a party pooper. It is actually with a very, very heavy heart that I make this address, and I take no pride in making it, and I am not excited about this event. I am saddened. Our schools are breaking the law, and as a result, they are breaking our children. They are breaking children physically and mentally, and this is being done via something called PSHE, which stands for Personal, Social, Health and Economic Education, but it doesn't, does it? PSHE, let us be clear, is not a real subject. Nobody knows what it actually consists of, it is mandated by statute to be taught, but there is no agreement in the country as to what part of it is mandatory, the thing they call relationships, and what part of it parents can object to and withdraw their kids from, the thing they call sex. Government policies have, over the years, amalgamated relationships and sex education into a sticky blob, and because schools don't know what it means or how to teach it, they throw their hands up in the air and pay companies posing as charities to teach it for them. Companies funded to a large extent by the taxpayer. Me, you, parents, the public. And none of us have any say in what goes on in PSHE lessons. Many of us have no idea what is taught in PSHE. So I'm going to tell you. And that report that you have with a copy of our bill will also tell you. What goes on in PSHE is child abuse, mental, physical, and sexual. It is child exploitation and it is child indoctrination. There, I said it. As currently practiced and taught, it is all of these things, and therefore, even though technically it is legally mandated, as practiced, it is against the good laws of this country, laws that exist to protect children and uphold the child's and the parent's right to a family life which is protected under Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. So let's be clear, it is our case at the Bad Law Project and Reclaim Education that PSHE is not just poorly taught or badly overseen or misguided or in need of revision or reform. It is unlawful and possibly criminal and it must be abolished. Yeah. The Bad Law Project was founded to support the implementation of good law in this country and call out and condemn political ideologies disguised as law, usually as equality and human rights law, political ideologies which have never been debated or scrutinised in Parliament, which have no statutory backing or public mandate. Reclaim Education was founded to reclaim education from political lobby groups and put accountability back into teaching practice. Families have a legal jurisdiction over their children and no amount of wordplay about LGBTQIA plus rights changes that legal jurisdiction. It is parents. It, it, it is parents who care unconditionally about their children, not money-making schemers and not government. The state is a terrible parent. Go and look at any children's care home in any country at any period of history and see how children fare compared with growing up in a family that they can call their own. But the pedagogical philosophy practiced in PSHE today is, what do parents know? Why is this happening? Well, this is my opinion, my personal opinion. The removal of children from the influence of loving parents at younger and younger ages makes them more susceptible to influence from third parties who have vested interests in promoting ideas and lifestyles to children for political or financial gain, as well as, I must say, for sexual gratification. Yeah. What else is the relentless promotion in PSHE of something called gender identity? The heinous proposition that a child can be born in the wrong body and can literally buy a new identity with assistance from the third sector. 
The child is asked to question constantly whether he or she feels okay and told you may not feel okay. Do you hate your body? Do you hate your adolescent body? Take another name, use a different pronoun, talk to a trusted adult about your intimate thoughts, not your parents. Don't trust or talk to your parents. Pause puberty, get skin grafts, take cross-sex hormones, bind your breasts, go online, seek out strangers who can help you, and let us know if you want to talk. If you have a sexual experience you want to talk about, if you hate your body, talk to us. Talk to us. This is PSHE. And the Bad Law Project and Reclaim Education intend to build momentum as part of our campaign to abolish it altogether in schools. It is the primary vehicle through which the third sector preys on young people, frankly, in the manner of a religious cult. And there are multiple ways that we intend to pursue this campaign. Firstly, we will keep pushing our draft schools and parental rights bill in this house until politicians get the memo that the public need them to hear. The promotion of gender identity and social and medical transitioning in schools is unlawful. It is political indoctrination, as Andrew mentioned, in breach of the Education Act. It is a violation of basic safeguarding. The Equality Act 2010 is being misrepresented by the charity sector, by charlatans posing as educators, so that now trans or gender identity is treated as a protected characteristic under equality and anti-discrimination law. There is no such thing as trans or gender identity in law. There is gender reassignment, which is entirely different, and as Andrew has also mentioned, a procedure available to persons of 18 and over. Schools have no business promoting the idea to minors under 18 that their healthy bodies need medical intervention and pretending that this is some sort of diktat of the Equality Act. And our bill makes that crystal clear. Secondly, we are going to sue the Department for Education. The Bad Law Project is preparing a class action brought by parents who will for the time being have to remain anonymous due to the pathetic state of free speech in this so-called democracy and because of risks to their personal security and their children's well-being were their identities to be publicised. These are parents whose children have been encouraged at school to socially or medically transition at considerable cost to both the children's and the family's mental and physical well-being. The parents are seeking to bring a joint claim in negligence against the department for actively promoting gender identity in schools, which we will define as gender ideology, and for failing to act on foreseeable harms caused by said ideology, and for allowing schools, local authorities and charities to politically indoctrinate children and ignoring and dismissing complaints brought to their attention by suffering parents. The premise of our case is simple. Where there is incompetence in child safeguarding by public authorities, including the Department for Education, there is liability in negligence. The Department has failed to uphold its duty of care towards children in schools, a duty that is rooted in its public law powers. It has failed to prevent political indoctrination in breach of the Education Act 1996. I'm coming to a close, but finally... There is the question of sexual exploitation of children, which I haven't addressed yet, but it is chronicled in the report. PSHE providers are increasingly obsessed with engaging school children in discussions about sexual arousal, sexual stimulation, sexual pleasure, touching and being touched. They are showing kids graphic sexual images that are designed clearly to excite and titillate. The Bad Law Project is currently engaged in consultations with criminal legal specialists as to whether some of these materials meet the NSPCC's definition of non-contact child sex abuse and whether PSHE lessons as taught may be criminal offences under the Sexual Offences Act 2003. And so... <laughs> And so, and I think this is what I really want to hammer home today, we are today putting schools, educational authorities and PSHE providers on notice, here and now, that there is strict liability for sexual offences committed against a child. And we say that PSHE activities conducted in the guise of robust sex education do meet the criminal threshold, particularly in respect of teaching children how to masturbate.
I am very glad that uh, Lawrence introduced uh, the word abolition 